Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have another Woolworths grocery haul. I've spent a fair bit this week, but I have got some food that I needed to stock up on. So I've spent $353, but $60 of this was dog food. So I hope you enjoy this. And the first thing I'm going to do is get into my meal planner for the week. So here's my weekly meal planner. On Monday, I'm going to make homemade sausage rolls. I've actually bought the ingredients in the shop here. So you'll see that I've bought the sausage mitts for that. On Tuesday night, we're going to have chicken schnitzels with mashed potato and vegetables. So I'm just going to make them myself. I might even put them in the air fryer. On Wednesday night, I'm going to make vegetable patties. I haven't done this for a while, but because on Tuesday night, we're going to have mashed potato and vegetables, I'll make enough for the Wednesday night. And I'm just going to make um, yeah a heap of vegetable patties up with that and fry it up. On the Thursday night, I'm going to cook corned beef and salad. In this grocery haul, I've bought our corned beef, so I was going to put a salad with that. On the Friday night, we're going to have quinoa and corned beef, so I'm going to use the corned beef from the Thursday night, and I'll just put a quinoa with it on the Friday, so that just makes it a lot easier for me on the Friday night. On the Saturday night, we're going to have a tuna pasta, so um, I don't really have a recipe for that. I'm just going to see how I go with that one, whatever I've got in the cupboard and maybe some vegetables in the fridge and I'll put that with a pasta. On the Sunday night, we're just going to have an easy omelette. So that's just, that's the whole week's meals there. And as you can see, two nights this week, I've tried to make it a lot easier on myself by not having to cook two different meals. For desserts this week, we're going to have homemade custard and canned fruit. In the grocery haul, you'll see that I've bought plenty of canned fruit, so that's really easy to have with either custard or ice cream. And I'm also going to make a junket. I'm a real fan of junket. I love it. When I was a kid, you used to be able to get strawberry, pineapple, and vanilla, but I've only been able to find the vanilla ones, so I'm not sure if they sell any of the flavoured ones anymore. And in terms of baking, this week I'm going to make some Anzac biscuits and I'm going to make an apple loaf. That's our weekly meal planner for the week, so let's get into the grocery haul. So I'll start up this end first. I've got a big packet of toilet paper. I've got 24 rolls there because you just never know lately. Sometimes there's toilet paper in stock and sometimes there hasn't been, so I've just got some there. I have bought a few canned foods this week and a few other things just to stock up the pantry because the pantry definitely needs it. So over here I've just got some peach slices because we like our canned fruit. I've stocked up on a about four cans of green seeds tuna here. I've also got some apricot halves because we just like having canned fruit in the cupboard. It's easy for dessert. I have a can of SPC prunes. They're really lovely with cream. I've also got a large can of tuna because I'm going to make the tuna pasta as a meal this week. I have some canned apples here. I love this brand because I'm going to make the apple loaf with that. I've also got some Italian diced tomato because I was running a little bit low on them. I do still have a few cans left, but at the back there, I've got some sliced beetroot because we love that for hamburgers. I have a can of big red tomato soup and I bought some tomato ketchup because the other bottles weren't really fitting into my fridge. So I'm going to try this one. I haven't had it in a while. I've got some tomato paste, but I bought two squeezy bottles of that because I seem to always run low on that and I just don't ever go and stock it up. So I thought I'd just get two bottles there. And we love our olives in this house, so my kids just love olives. So I've got some Kalamata olives there, which I like those ones the best. And I also have some green olives and I also have a jar of gherkins as well. I just love these because I can just put them with cheese and crackers in the afternoon when the kids come home from school and they really enjoy it. They think it's like a treat. I sort of make a platter up for them with it. Okay, I've also got some mustard because we're running low on that, and you really need that with ham sandwiches, I think, some sort of mustard or pickles. Now I've got some sesame seeds because I'm going to put them on the sausage rolls, and I really like sesame seeds in stir fries, so I needed a bag of that. I've got some fettuccine. And I've also just got some spaghetti, just some home brand spaghetti as well because we we just seem to always run low on spaghetti. I don't buy a lot of it because we don't eat a lot of it. So I have stocked up on pasta and spaghetti, as you can see. I've also got some large shells here because this is good to make cold pastas with. So I've bought two bags of large shells there. 
And I've also got just some of the um, spiral pasta as well. I think they've substituted this one. I don't think I chose that one. That was obviously the substitute for the week. And I've also got this one. This is the organic wholemeal pasta. It's really good in soups and stews because it doesn't go gluggy. So I really like that one. That's one of my favorite ones at the moment. I have a bag of organic quinoa because I was running low on that. And this week I am going to make a quinoa to go with the corned beef. I've also got some penne as well. So there's another bag of pasta there. So I have got a few different types of pasta. I just don't have the storage room to probably put it all. I've also got some granola. This was on special this week, so I grabbed a bag of that. My husband loves that. Sometimes I make it and I put it in the oven and things like that, which is so much easier and cheaper as well. But I just grabbed that one. It's just a plain one with oats. I've got these. I've been meaning to grab these. These are the big council bin liners because my bin just gets so dirty all the time and sometimes the bags break. And if we have a barbecue in the backyard or something, it doesn't matter if people throw their rubbish in the bin. Okay, I've also stocked up on this UHT milk, the cupboard milk. I've got three uh, cartons of full cream milk and two of the light milk. I just didn't have any in the cupboard whatsoever, so I just want to stock up on that. I've also just got some snacks for the week. I just grabbed two boxes of these crackers. There's some cheddar ones and the other ones are just a packet of chive crackers. I have a bag of breadcrumbs for the sausage rolls and also I use it for stuffing in the chicken. I've got some hot dog rolls here and I don't use them for hot dogs. I use them for garlic bread. I'm going to bring out a video soon on how I just quickly make them. They're really easy to make that way. So I've got some paper towel because every week I buy this. I would like to buy this in bulk if I could. I seem to go through a lot of it and I'm constantly buying it every week. And also I grabbed some wheat bix here. I've sort of got two big boxes here. We're a family that eat wheat bix every morning. So I've sort of stocked up on that. And I also do a lot of cooking with wheat bix, like my bliss balls. And, and also the wheat bix bites were on special. They're only $3 this week. I've bought two boxes of Tetley decaf tea because I seem to go through this a lot and I'm trying not to go back to the shops every week for things here, so that's why I'm stocking up. This Sally Hansen nail polish was on special for $3.50. I couldn't believe it. And it's a colour that's really nice. I've tried it. It's called Mauve Over. It's a perfect colour for winter and it's the same sort of colour as a lipstick I wear. I've got some chest rub ointment here. This is only $2.30. This is the home brand one. So we use so much of it in my house, so I just grabbed the cheaper brand. I've also stocked up on cough lollies this week because we've run out. So um, these were all about $3.50 a packet of three. So that's a really good price. If you drop into the service station, they're really expensive if you just want one packet of lozenges. So I grabbed three different types there of soothers and butter menthols. I've bought some dairy milk peppermint chocolate, just a block there for our weekend movies. I've bought two bottles of dry ginger ale. I always have this in the fridge as well as lemonade in case someone's sick. I got a big bag of raw sugar. This is three kilos here. And I've bought four boxes of tissues this week. I've got two Kleenex aloe vera boxes. They're really soft. I like them. And I've also got two big boxes of the home brand tissues. It's just that time of the year now where we're using a lot of tissues. I've got a heap of bananas here for smoothies and for the lunch boxes. I also have a bag of lemons for hot lemon drinks and to put with water. I've got two beetroots because I love these beetroots and I always put them in my food and grate them up for sandwiches. I've just bought three tomatoes this week because we don't sometimes eat all of them. They go moldy. And I also just grabbed two zucchinis because I'm going to probably put that into the vegetable patty. I've got two cartons of free-range eggs because we've run out of eggs and I'm going to be making an omelette on one of the nights for dinner. I have some sweet potatoes because I cut these up and make chips out of them and I put them in the air fryer. They taste really good in the air fryer. I've got lots of bread here just to fill up the freezer. So I've got two loaves of the smooth wholemeal bread. I've got one loaf of the high-fibre bread and two loaves of the soft white sandwich bread. We have a chest freezer that's pretty empty at the moment, so this is why I've bought all this bread. The kids have sandwiches every day, so we go through it really quickly. I don't really eat a lot of bread, but the kids do. 
So this is the best way to start, to restock the chest freezer. So I've bought this super coat. It was on special this week, three bags for under $60. It's 7.5 kilo bags. My dog has only got one more month of being a puppy, so I've got one bag there and two bags of adult super coat. So moving over to the cold section now, I've got some mango Yoplait yogurt. This yogurt seems to always be a really good price. I've also got some craft singles. I got some breakfast burst daily juice. That's really nice, that one. And I've also got some squeezy yogurts. So I've got six there of different flavors. They seem to go really quick, so I'll make sure that that's just purely for lunch boxes. With the milk, I've bought three of each, three lights and three full cream milks. And I've also stocked up on the butter. So I've got three blocks of 250 grams of butter, and I'm going to freeze a block or two as well. I've got some Ultimate Yogurt. So that was on special this week. So I usually do get that brand. And I have got some thickened cream as well. I'm going to start having that in the fridge all the time. I'm not really a cream person, but whenever I need cream, there's never anything in there. So I'm going to start buying cream every time I do a shop. Moving over to the meat now, I've bought some mid-loin chops. They're on special this week for $22 a kilo. I've got some sausage mince for my sausage rolls. And I've bought a corned beef silver side, and that will feed us for two nights. Okay, so I also have some Jamie Oliver fish fingers. We love these fish fingers. They're probably my favourite. And while I was doing the online shop, my son jumped online and he bought himself two butter chickens with rice. We don't often buy frozen meals, but he really likes these, and they're only $3 a, a box. So sometimes that's okay for after school or on a weekend. Well, thank you very much for watching today, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do like these sort of videos, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks everyone.